Good evening and welcome back to Size World of Koi. How you doing guys? Hope you've been keeping well, had a nice long bank holiday weekend. I certainly did. It was a bit of a wild one. I went to a festival. A festival? Yeah. Can you believe it? Oh, I danced for four hours. Yep. Oh, Saturday I was knackered. Absolutely cream crackered. But uh, yeah, it was a, it was a really good night. I was hanging a bit though. Oh, getting too old for this uh, going out business. Um, what, what else to do? Um, rest of the time, got a bit of food shopping because uh, uh, Sunday I went away for a couple of days carp fishing. Um, new club, new lake. Add one out, £21.6 six ounce common carp. Beauty it was, absolute beauty. So uh, hence the redness in my, if you can see, I'm probably a bit red in the cheeks. Um, yesterday was glorious. Uh, so sun's out, guns are out. Um, yeah, really nice, uh, nice day. Or oh, nice couple of days, should I say. Got back today. Tuesday, Tuesday morning, day off work, which was nice. Um, and yeah, uh, got back, had a look at the pond, see how that's doing. Bless her, here we are. My other half doesn't, doesn't touch the pond. Um, but uh, I did treat the blanket weed, I know I think I said it in my last video, um, I got some clover leaf and I treated it. Um, now, I had a look at... Uh, Koi Pond Lifestyles video and he said that uh, he only gave one treatment, he was close to making two treatments but uh, stuck to it and did the one I wasn't as patient as that, I should have been but I, I didn't like the sight of it, I got back today, I did I did the treatment last week, it's a five and a half thousand litre pond so I've got some spare if I need to but I've got I got back today and I could just see like three or four inches of this string algae still. Um, when did I do it? I treated it, actually I think I treated it Friday. Yeah, Friday, so it didn't really have its full, full days, but I'm so impatient with it. I just, um, um, I've got a broom that I've bought that I use for the pond, if you know needed and I perhaps shouldn't have done done it but I um, swept the sides of the pond with this soft broom so um, it uh, you know sort of murks up all the water it was still a bit 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 cloudy from the from the treatment to be fair but um yeah the nexus was quite blocked up with this blanket weed anyway inside the middle of the nexus um, so I did a drop on the Nexus, emptied the emptied it, and cleaned the middle middle section, and hose that down. Opened the valves and topped it back up, and uh, yeah, um, obviously there was lots of uh, blanket weed floating around in the middle that I'd uh, dislodged from the side, so. Um, it needed another drop so i i've got two return valves on my pond i've got one near near a sort of third of the way down from the surface uh from the top of the pond and then one third of the way up from the bottom so i thought right i'll close the top one so that more pressure is being pushed out of the bottom the uh, bottom return so with the emphasis that it would push more blanket weed through the um, bottom drain um, and in order to avoid the bottom drain getting clogged, I did a purge on the bottom drain. So I gave that a couple of open and shuts to purge some, some of the crap out, which um, I did, and try and dislodge any blanket weed that could have uh, nestled at the bottom of the pipe. So I did that, um, topped the nexus back up, and then gave it another drop, um, cleaned the centre bit. I can't remember what the centre bit's called. Um, but uh, yeah, you know the bit I mean, the stainless 
steel grid type thing. Um, yeah, so um, it's had two, it's had two cleans now, but um, it is, uh, it is sort of getting now. Um, but uh, let's uh, swing you around. Oh, there's the little mark. Um, yeah, it's still a little bit, bit murky. Um, normally you can see right at the bottom. It's normally crystal, but uh, there's some blanket weed still. So. Um, yeah, um, just got to wait really. Um, I've got a question that uh, I can ask if I can. Answers on a postcard at the bottom of this video. Um, I've got a bit of a dead spot on the Nexus. Now, everywhere else is moving fine. Yeah, that's all moving, that's all moving. There. I don't know why it is. I'm running a AirTech 70 or 75. Um, that's running the bottom drain uh, and the Nexus. Um, but I split it off and it's fine. It's you know there's plenty of air I could have going through the uh, through the Nexus. Um, so yeah, if anyone could sort of give me a an idea as to what's what's the problem it'd be uh, much appreciated um quick update on the uh on the shed although no i'm gonna stop calling it a shed it's just a filter house uh wayfair have told me that that's coming on the 9th so <coughs> when that gets delivered um it'd be all hands to the uh pump pardon the pun to uh, get it all uh, get it all ready um get this filter closed off at least it'd be uh be done for winter um also i mentioned i think in my last video um a, consider you know about a backy shower well i'm gonna go down the righty route oh he's a talented guy he's very clever but yeah i'm gonna go down the righty route my heat gun's turned up my um just got to get some polypropylene sheet in and I'm going to have a little practice and uh, why not let's see if I can put something together I've watched a lot of his videos uh, watched some other tutorials on YouTube um, and let's uh, yeah give it a go I'm looking forward to it actually I love, love tinkering anyway um, so once the uh, yeah then I'll, if I can do a baggy shower who knows I'll be so the Nexus make a <laughs> make a drum filter. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, so um, right, that's about it from me um, at the moment. Once the old shed uh, goes up, I can then get the, um, the slabs put on the. Uh, the top, right there. Oh, these doves, these doves, just pain in the backside. I do love them, but what's happened is there was a old guy not far from me who had the dove cot he passed away the doves weren't getting fed and they just just on people's people's roofs and they keep coming down to the pond but they keep crapping on my wall not happy anyway that's enough from me um i hope everyone had a uh, good uh, good time at the uh, young koi show south east uh, south um, england koi show at the weekend I didn't get down there, but I'll be uh, probably at the one in uh, September, uh, the big one. Anyway, um, stay safe, and I'll catch you soon. See you later. Bye-bye.